personally and my sister I know we do not want to come back just because like we saw everything happen it's just gonna, it's kind of like a death trap here for us and tragedy at the Ohio State Fair. One person is dead as seven others are injured, seriously hurt after a ride breaks apart, sending people flying into the air. Troopers identified those victims about an hour ago. They say 18 year old Tyler Jarrett was killed while the other victims range in age from 14 to 42. All are from the Columbus area. Governor John Kasich ordered all rides shut down until they are reinspected. Those inspections happening overnight and into early this morning. Nine of your sides, Ali Kramer, is at the Ohio State Fair. She spoke with two girls who watched the horror unfold. Two sisters were next in line to ride Fireball when they say they saw that ride swinging back down, crashing into the platform, sending riders flying into the air. They say they are forever traumatized. I saw the people uh, flying off. I saw somebody fall off and then he hit the emergency stop, which I saw, which led to the seat flying off as well. 16 year old Brittany Neal was watching as the arms of the fireball came swinging back down, smashing into the rides platform, sending people flying. A total of three people were hitting the ground. I saw them all hit the ground. Brittany says the ride operator hit the emergency stop. Some riders unaware of what had happened. People were screaming the the obviously family members and friends that just literally just saw people fly off and of panic, but the passengers on the ride were completely silent. They didn't know. I think they were speechless. Brittany and 13 year old sister Kylie went running from the ride. The first thing I said is that could have been us and we just took off running. Uh, we ran a few feet away from it and I called my parents right away. I couldn't make out what my daughter was saying. I knew something horrible had happened. Mom Christy met up with her daughters trying to comfort them from the horror that they witnessed. I feel so lucky, but at the same point, like somebody else's kids were on that ride. Somebody else's babies didn't get to come home. Reporting from the Ohio State Fair, Allie Kramer, nine on your side. All right, and certainly a tragedy there. And just minutes ago, Ohio Governor John Kasich updated us on the progress of the investigation. I don't want to speculate on what the what caused this because we have to do the, the full and complete investigation but anytime you go to an amusement park and I've been going to amusement parks since I was probably five or six years old I used to go to Kennywood Park and we'd ride on the roller coasters and I think everybody always knew that there's an element of risk connected to it Kasich is at the fairgrounds right now and just wrapped up his update. According to officials, while the fair is open, the midway will remain closed until further notice, likely after all of the rides have been checked first, and those checks are weather permitting. The Ohio Department of Agriculture is working with the Ohio State Patrol to make sure that everything is safe, but a spokesperson for the ODA says at the end of the day, amusement park rides are machines and do malfunction from time to time.